Dun, 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 dun. Hello for today. Today is the first day of March 2019 and that is day 15 of GHV Airfield Savers. Oh, that's a GHV Airfield Savers day 2. <laughs> so we're just going to ignore that because I thought this is a bit pristine. The yes. one we've had to be used. Oh, yes, the, the other one got yeah. a bit crumpled. So well, crumpled I, I, on the I, gliding I put that one day. in there, but I forgot to take the two off. So. <laughs> yes. We're so professional. Yes, it blew away on gliding day, yes. So in this video, we're just going to give you a rapid overview of uh, how far we've come since we started um, GHV at all and GHV Airfield Savers. Mm. Uh, we have Pending the clubhouse, um, loosely put it's a caravan, but no. No, it's a clubhouse. It's a, it's a clubhouse. Uh, it should be arriving the next two weeks, we hope. Yeah, yeah. And um, well, by the time we have our next GHV trustees meeting, which we had today, uh, we should have our first operating crew. So we're getting closer and closer to actually getting young people airborne. So we had our monthly trustees meeting today. Okay. We saw Tim. You don't get to see him just yet, but he is now creating his potted CV so that we can present him and his CV to you as soon as he's done that. Um, other things? Ooh, we've um, listened to Tim tell us what aircraft he's been gathering. Whilst we've been gathering, I'll give you a word in just a minute. Whilst we've been gathering uh, the potential for funding the three of us to keep going and developing GHV more, he has been collecting aircraft and a lot of them are in his backyard so it's probably quite a sizable backyard and I'm going to get let Julian tell you about what they are. Off you oh, go. Right okay well I better just crib my crib sheet on them because they're quite a lot yeah. more than I thought. It's got, uh, uh, there's one XA what? Microlite, there's one AX2000 Microlite which is the one uh, that you saw earlier on in this series that we had our initial flights in. That's the Cyclone. The Cyclone, well, yeah. I said doesn't glide and yeah, I stand does glide. corrected. Yes. It does glide, just doesn't have the glide ratio that I'm used to. Very draggy. Yeah. Uh, there's one Avid Flyer which I quite like because it's a little tail wheel jobby. Yeah, it looks really uh, pretty. It looks a bit like the uh, November Charlie but it's not. We're going to include pictures of this. Or oh, we'll do. D uh, d down underneath. Down well, below. Well, no, actually, a picture at the end of this uh, video. Oh, at the end of this one. We'll right. put links down below if there's any links to it on, uh, on yeah. Wikipedia or elsewhere. So you can get to see the kind of aircraft that yes. our young people, your young people, yes. you, yeah. uh, are going to get off the ground in. And we have no fewer than four different types of Pegasus microlite, so that's the weight shift type, which is a bit like the, like a hang glider with, with uh, two seats and an engine behind. I have no idea what that looks like, so I'll be looking at the pictures as well. Yeah. And two unusual aircraft, mm. uh, one more unusual than anything else, we have one Buccaneer 2 amphibian. Yeah, seaplane. And remember yeah. there's that water course that runs alongside the airstrip. So we're going to, have to be discussing yeah. that with various we'll drainage boards. Yes. yes. Okay. And uh, also, uh, closer to my height, my height? My height and your heart. Because <laughs> it is long. Uh, yeah. It's got longer wings than all the others. My heart. <laughs> We've got uh, one Wasma Bijav two-seat glider. Which is French. It's French, yes. It's probably not Bijav. Yes, or Bijav. Something like that. Yeah. Yes. Well, they're all two-seats, yes. not surprisingly, because they're all training aircraft to get young people uh, up in the air with. And I have flown the Bijav okay. many, many years ago at uh, Poitiers Airport. Poitiers. Yeah. Very, and, very uh, nice. towed up behind a... Rally 235 light aircraft, that's a very powerful machine and they didn't have anyone to run on the wings. It was so powerful it just jerked us off the ground the way we went. No! Yeah, I was quite oh. surprised about that. I'll bet you were. <laughs> that's the list of aircraft and it's ever growing. So if anyone out there has got any other hangar queens, oh that's yeah. where the, most of these aircraft came from, were either donated or, or given at low cost to, yes. to Tim. He goes all over the, the country and even over Europe to pick up these aircraft. He's going um, to give those details of how and where he got them. Some of them are quite a story to Julian and we'll give a shout out to the donations that we've received. Yep, and where today. appropriate we'll do little videos about them as well. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So he's been collecting those aircraft and most of them are still in flying condition. Those that are not quite in flying condition, they'll be made airworthy pretty quickly yep. and they're all going to be based down at our airfield at Marshland. Yes, lovely. So. That's our video today. Quite exciting. Yep. We look it's forward all. to seeing you tomorrow. Shall we? No, we won't going to tell you. Not going to tell you what we're going to do tomorrow. No, we'll leave that as a surprise because it's a surprise to us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. So we'll say ciao for now. Yeah. Bye.